Hey there, time for a studio update. I know it's been a while. I'm actually by myself at the studio today, and I don't have that much to show you, but I do have quite a few news items. Um, got a Heil Farmy crack in here. Picked up these Isle of Blood kits to uh, supplement those. Um, by the way, I have a uh, army done for a client, a Heil Farm. It was the lion-themed one that client spontaneously gave us permission to do a battle report, so that's coming. What's interesting about that is that uh, it's going to involve a 50-strong block of Phoenix Guard, and I'm very interested to see how that, how that goes. I also wanted to show you this. This is a Skaven army. It's been... Um, uh, a, a few of the infantry are kind of wandering around here and they get need to get back into their separate units. But the interesting thing about this, this army is that it has 260 some odd infantry figures, which is a lot. And let's take a look at some of this other stuff here. We have uh, eight rat ogres. Every single last one of them converted to be different. This is my favorite one right here. He's got like this giant... Uh, crushing claw thing that's from a killer can I do believe in this little control panel on his back uh, every single one of the pack masters is unique got some converted uh, heroes some uh, warlord on a war litter and a couple of warlocks four in fact and uh, a lot of converted weapon teams we have these three um, Doom Flayers, uh, which you may recognize from a listing. Uh, I've actually pulled that and absorbed them into this army and uh, the converted Warp Lightning Cannon. So, uh, not, not a lot of new news there, but I, I'd estimate this is at least 4,000 points of Skaven and really quite a horde to contend with. Got some anime going. That makes for a good work day. So, another thing I wanted to talk about is a special ad running. I'm going to go ahead and put up a link to that. It's uh, called 300, and basically it's to build an army in segments of approximately $300 each. And the payments can be split into up to three parts for each one. And um, so, uh, basically, with 100, you can get your army started. And I'm doing this to try and split it up into more uh, digestible chunks to get a fairly large project done. And also to have some of the satisfaction of having those packages uh, show up on a hopefully regular basis. So there's three ways to go about it. The first one is a la carte. And really, in this case, there's no difference uh, between this and just placing an order that happens to be about 300. And you can alter it, too. You can move it up or down and... Uh, add things, get rid of things, whatever it is you, you want to do. The second way is uh, turbo style, and this means uh, you just give me a budget and I pick what's going to be in it. Now, there's a lot of flexibility with this because, for the most part, all infantry costs more or less the same to produce. So, for example, I have someone doing a Dark Eldar army and uh, really... You know, does he want witches? Does he want Kabbalite warriors? It's really one and the same to me. So we, we really worked around his desires for his uh, army composition. And, uh, so, and then the third option, uh, which is my favorite personally, is you just give me free reign. And in a way, you could do this with any amount of money. You could just come up and say, hey, this is my budget. Why don't you get me started on an army? And typically in a case like that, I will uh, give some suggestions uh, or some options. Uh, right now, it's uh, orcs, blood angels, or tyranids would be the ones, one of the three I would pick for 40K. Uh, for fantasy, obviously, it might be different. Uh, now, for these... Uh, types of armies I I'm reasonable I don't just you know throw random stuff in there we're good at building armies we want to have uh, you be proud of them when you get to your local shop so those are the three options for the 300 special there's no I'm gonna put my email as a as a um, up in the information section of this video in case you want to get a hold of me and we we can start we can start in on it. 
the first Dark Eldar are rolling off the line. They are, it was, a, it was actually a 300 order, and uh, that is uh, being done. We did a red armor, like a, a really a blood red with uh, deep black uh, shadows on it, and uh, then uh, dusky steel and brass for highlights, and uh, just a little bit of pale green on there, and that color scheme worked out really well. That's, that's forthcoming. Also, just for today, possibly Monday, I have uh, a couple of the studio armies uh, up for sale. And really, at a rate, you just can't pass it up. I'm going to put a link to that. But uh, notably, it's the um, Oriental Army, which uh, was built to be um, uh, Empire. So there's the dragon guy back there. And uh, I think that's uh, 110 infantry. And then we have this Tau army. Again, I'm going to have Link and Picks. Uh, plenty of information on those. Oh, and those Cadians that we used in the battle report yesterday. Those are going to be on the block. Those, I mean, they were already a great deal. They've been around for a while. I'm really confused why no one's picked them up yet. Uh, these would make great uh, beginner armies. They would also make great uh, the... Um, Imperial Guard would make a great supplemental force if you already have a Guard army or a Grey Knights army. And um, they also make good guest armies as well. If you're trying to get your friends into the game, but they don't have anything built up yet, you know, just something to have stowed away in case you want to, um, you know, grab that for somebody that comes over or you want to meet down at the local shop or... Uh, just have a have a spare army. <laughs> that's quite a luxury too, to have an extra army. All right, I think that's it for the day. The last note I have is again with the uh, 300 army special is um, the third option where you just say, hey, Sean, I just want you know a Warhammer Fantasy Warhammer 40k, maybe even a War Machine or Hordes army. You just pick. This gives you the best leverage. You're going to get the biggest bang for your buck doing this because of this. I have... Uh, by the way, this is an embarrassing wreck. We plan on picking it up soon. But I just have over-orders. I have trade-ins. I can And I can really leverage that to uh, make you something spectacular. And usually when you have us do a Turbo Army or a... Uh, surprise me army, I guess you'd use that term for the third option, is, um, well, I totally just lost my train of thought on camera, how embarrassing. Uh, no, what I was thinking was that, um, you, see, I, now I lost my other train of thought. Oh my gosh, what was I thinking? Hold on a second, no, 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 I'm going to see this through. It's... Oh, uh, surprise me is a misnomer, because I do kind of work with you. I tell you what I'm thinking. Uh, for a turbo army, oh, that's what I was going to say first. For a turbo army, I, I can tell you right away what the army list is going to be. Not ahead of time, but once the deposit comes in and I start sort of working through it, I can tell you. It's not like you have to wait, you know, three weeks or whatever, and uh, just kind of get stuck with whatever you're stuck with. Uh, I can tell you what it is, and I do take requests, like, you know, if you don't like purple, or if you don't like drag or dragons, I can, you know, I can exclude certain options. Uh, like right now for Dark Eldar, I would take a uh, parameter of saying, hey, I want a um, army that's uh, uh, the rack theme like a Haman Kilai or whatever, or Kabbalite Warrior Heavy. That, 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 that's all good. For the most part, infantry really does come out to be all the same thing. So, yeah, i got to do something about this. We're really running out of space here. Yeah, a lot of stuff going on here. Yeah, like, look at all these battle forces I've picked up. Crazy. But yeah, I wanted to show you one other thing. So check this out. Forge World's coming out with a thing called a Hornet, and I just, I love this idea. What a great vehicle. And it sports two weapons, so it's very versatile. So I was thinking, look at this. With a little modification, the turret of a fire prism could be a Hornet. I'd probably want to put two veins up here, 
and it would need an engine pod on the bottom. The other thing I was thinking of is what about flipping this over and making this into a venom? You would need to, you know, elongate this somehow, but, uh, you know, and put an engine pod. But I think this would be about the right shape for that. So I plan on doing some experiments with that. And the great thing about the Hornet idea is that you could make uh, wave servant turrets for these and still use this base model, which is even better because it has these extenders, which are kind of cool. The engine pod thing, which I think counts as star engines. And uh, you could definitely take one of these kits and make a Hornet out of it, like by just cutting off one of these engine pods and putting it on the bottom and maybe incorporating like some of these veins in on it. And it might even be better than the Forge World one because it would be smaller because you want to run the Hornets in squadrons. I'll uh, provide a link to the experimental rules for that. And uh, so I've got a lot of ideas cracking on that front. But boy, I, I love this as a Hornet. And quite frankly, uh, I um, think uh, doing six of those would be just about right. Uh, now, and the other thing is, I plan on making an, an Eldar army to be a foil for the studio Dark Eldar, which by the way is coming. I think I mentioned earlier that I was going to do the Dark Eldar army really quickly, and that hasn't materialized. We've had too many other things uh, cooking. And so, but I do have the materials for it, and we have a lot of ideas cracking, like how to do the, the different optional things. The notable one is the Talos and the Kronos. We have really good conversions really good options coming for those. I think it's just, I think it's going to blow your mind when you see the first um, conversions for those uh, rolling off the line. So anyway, this has been the studio update for the day. I uh, hope you got some inspiration out of it.